videos we would like to share with our viewers regarding what are the building experiences and in these building experiences what are the potential difficulties that might be faced by our students and also what are the learning outcomes in this building process. Alright, without further ado, just a cooking tutorial, I need to show you what are the ingredients that we have in front here. And uh, using this helicopter skill, we have the light cells, heavy cells, um, PC motor, switch, connector, wire, universal joint. This is called universal joint because you can see that it can be moved through four directions. So that's why it's called universal joint. And then we have some special cells, some gears here, and gears also we are using two different gears. This is the big gears, and also this is the crown gear. So it looks like a crown, so it's a crown gear. Alright, and then we have stoppers to put at the end of the axle. Alright, without further ado, let me show you this one, the helicopter. This is the final outlook of our helicopter build. As you can see here, the main thing that we have here is actually the battery pack. And this battery pack will give the power to the switch to control on off towards the DC motor. So this is the DC motor that's going to be controlled by the switch, which is powered by the battery. Alright, and uh, you can see that through here, there's a gear here whereby it's connected to the propeller. So this gear is actually known as the uh, drive gear. So um, no surprise because our students already know what is drive gear, what is driven gear. They are supposed to know because before this build, they already learned about gear ratio and they already learned about draft gear, driven gear, teeth, uh, how to do the gear ratio and also how do you want to connect the gears together properly between the teeth to teeth. So these are the things I've learned way before this lesson. So this lesson is actually to let them apply the knowledge, the theoretical that they have understood into an actual build. And after they have built it, they have to share with the teachers how the mechanism works and uh, after the mechanism works, how it actually controls from the drive gear to the driven gear. And something special is because they are using the universal joint. So this universal joint is very special because uh, without the universal joint, there's no flexibility. And when there's no flexibility, the tendency to fail will be very high. Especially if you look here, one of the functions of the universal joint is actually to adjust the elevation so that the higher axles here and the lower axles here can be connected together. Alright, so without further ado, let us start building our helicopter and hopefully it turns out good. Alright, so let's get started. Before that, let me briefly show you our instruction sheet. So basically, our instruction sheet looks like this, whereby you can see at some certain steps, we'll show you what are the things that we need, how many number. Um, we don't show very close step by steps, or we don't show every angle of the picture because we want the students to train their observation skills and we want them to think and to observe it and figure out themselves. This is one of the skills that we want to train them. And uh, hopefully I can do it in the shortest time because most of my students will finish it um, in two classes and average whereby it will take around um, two hours, one and a half hour, two hours to finish this including uh, the explanation of the mechanisms and also the troubleshooting. So let's get started. shows that you have to pay very much attention to the uh, hole. It's actually located at this particular small hole. So I need to pay much attention to it.
So you can see this is the helicopter that I've done and this is the outcome of it and I have mounted it around here. Yep. I have mounted the uh, switch and also the battery around here. Yeah. So that's how it works. Okay. So that's the mechanism of it. As you can see, uh, the DC motor will actually drive this drive gear. This big gear is actually the drive gear, and this crown gear is actually the driven gear. All right. So. You can see that it's uh, rotating based on the flexible joint here. Yeah, that's a universal flexible joint. And then uh, all the way come to the propeller here, it's spinning as well. And uh, from this side, so you can see that, yeah, it's from the other side. So that's the perpendicular gear and also how it gets connected. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time and hope that you enjoy yourself. Uh, with this video. I'll uh, see you in the next video.